right, boys and girls, I'm just as shocked as you are how quickly I am doing another video, but I was editing this session and I need to show you the other one. So this is the other one I edit. Is that not the most darling thing ever? Backdrop is baby dream fleece and I, the dresses I believe are the one on the left I think is Tutu Demond and I don't know what the one on the right is. Hair pieces and accessories are Tutu Demond. But anyway, so I did this image and I was like, this is so cute. I have to show them the power of the Jessica Drossen overlays and actions. Okay, so this I'm going to go ahead and um, edit this one and you can you notice how the lights legit look like they are real in this image like that is also the backdrop the amazingness of the backdrop but then also a little bit of behind the scenes magic in, magic in photoshop so i'm going to do this one the same as i edited this one okay i've already done all of my cleanup like hairs and i've popped their eyes and put a little bit of blush on them because this calls for it because it's a little bit theatrical um i have ran portraiture um if you want to see how i batch edit portraiture you can watch the other video that i i know i know shocking that i recorded today and it has some helpful tips in it but this is really just to show you guys how awesome her overlays are um, I use them frequently with studio shots, but then also they are really kind of more magical with outdoors. Um, I don't really shoot outdoors anymore. I'm limited in my sessions that I can shoot right now because of my son's swim schedule. He is like <laughs> going to be driving next month, so that's going to free up my time. But anyway, okay, back to what we're doing here. <laughs> I'm sure you guys really care about my son driving next month. Anyway, okay, so my, okay, I'm going to be using overlays and actions from JD, which is Jessica Drossen, Illuminations Instant Overlays Volume 2. I get asked that all the time. I will link it below. She has a ton of different ones, okay? The names are kind of similar, but the one that is my favorite is JD Illuminations Instant Overlays Volume 2. It has this flashlight cool in it. And what these are is these up here are not actions. They are overlays that you are actually putting on top of your photo. I'm going to show you here in just a second. So all of these are, and then what's really cool is these at the top, you can like, you do all, it says audition effect overlays, audition deep overlays, audition bright overlays. And what that does is if you run this, it will literally run every bright overlay. So then you can turn off and turn on and see which one you like. Anytime I first get an overlay set or an action set, that is the first thing I do because that gives me an idea of what I've bought. Because I, I luckily I'm a visual person. I can remember things visually. Now, if you tell me something, I'm not going to remember. Unfortunately, it's going to fly out the other ear it came out of. So, um, but if I see it, I can remember it. And so what I will do is I'll just sit here and play around with all of them and the opacity and all that and then see what I got. So flashlight cool is literally one of my favorites. And I'm going to show you how it's different than an action. So what you do is you play it and you'll see it runs down the exact middle it's being slow for some reason, probably because I forgot to turn my Wi-Fi off. Okay, see? See how it kind of warms it up and then it makes, it's kind of like a vignette on the sides and on the bottom, okay? So what's really cool is it ha in this little window right here, it shows you what it's doing, okay? So what's also cool is if you click that and click the arrow, it comes up. Now I'm going to show you what I mean. Okay, see? So what you can do with these overlays is, let's say they aren't exactly in the middle of the image, right? But you can see by looking at the overlay that this light is exactly in the middle, okay? So let's say I would rather it be kind of over here, okay? I want the center to kind of be where the girls are in the image because I don't want to crop it and lose the love. So what you can do is I can kind of pull, see where I'm kind of adjusting the light and I'm adjusting that center. So I'm going to turn it off and on so that you can see the difference. So I wanted that light to kind of be about where their hands are, right? And the cool thing is too, if it's too dark, you can always, like if it was, too, if I thought it's too dark on their legs, I can pull it down. If it got a little bit too bright on their face, I can pull it up. Do you see how I can adjust that? 
And all of them are like that too. There's another one that I really love also, and it's called Pale Pink. I would say probably Awakening, Flashlight Cool, and Pale Pink are my two favorite. And they're in alphabetical order, so it's really nice to find them quickly. I need to use Awakening because Awakening is a directional overlay. So the light comes from the, no, it comes from the right. My lighting comes from the left. So what's really cool is to flip this overlay if I wanted to flip it all I do is click it and then I can go to edit transform and then I can flip this horizontally so what it would do is it would actually flip this overlay so that the light would be coming from the other side if that makes sense okay so I love that so I'm going to stick with that so if you scroll down to the bottom of these this overlay set she has the best action set. It is just little tweaks that are so helpful. I use these in almost every image, okay? So what's if you've watched um, my other video, like the uh, shooting uh, storefront backdrops, I use these in there also. And I'm gonna use the same ones that I used in that too. So what I, the one that I really love when it's a dark, uh, more low key image is the glowing contrast. Now, sometimes if there are black clothes in the image, it's gonna bump it a little bit too much. So I'm gonna have to adjust it. Okay, so you see how that kind of brings it just a little bit too much. So I'm gonna bring it all the way down but I love what it does. So I just like a little bit of it. So I'm gonna show you. See how it just kind of polishes the image a little bit? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna flatten this because the next one that I'm going to do is pop highlights, okay? So this is a super cool action for any um, backdrop you have that has lights, faux lights in it, or street lights, or anything like that. And it also pops color, so I'm going to show you. So when you hit play, it's going to run through everything. So it's going to do all of what it's saying okay to and put it into a mask. So this is your image with nothing done to it, okay? So what I paint onto it is going to be the opposite color of this in my brush. So I see this is black, so I'm gonna go over to my brush and then I'm gonna make sure my brush is white, okay? So I'm going to quickly make my brush smaller or larger by using the bracket key. So I make it bigger by using the right bracket and I make it smaller by using the left bracket. Okay, so here's where the magic happens. Watch this. Oh my gosh, I love it. I happened upon this action by accident when I was kind of messing around and see how I got it a little bit on her leg. I'm fine with it kind of like that, but I don't want poor little Cameron's leg. I'm fine with it being on the edge because then it's more realistic with the light. Uh, make sure it's uh, white or white brush again. And then I'm going to inhale and inhale. And inhale. That's probably annoying. I'll stop doing that. Sorry. And then what really looks cool, it looks cool like on their hair, on the edge of their hair too. And sometimes it turns it a little bit orange. But if that's the color of the lighting behind them, it's correct in your brain. And I'm just painting it on. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, look, I'm going to show you. Boop, boop. I just literally turned the lights on, right? So there's that. And now I'm going to run one greater than Gatsby action, which is my Leonardo foundation from Painterly, the original. See how it brightens it all up? I don't want it quite that much, but I just love what this action does to skin tones and shadows. So I'm going to bring it right there. And then I'm going to just go ahead and command L to bring up my levels and I'm gonna bring that up just a little bit and then I'm gonna bring down my blacks and there we go is that not the cutest stinking thing ever and so now see they look like they're in the same set so that's important to me like that we have image cohesion like where they all look the same lighting wise I love these girls so much but anyway um, so I hope that that helps you out. These, these, 
her, all of her overlays are amazing. Like I have so many of them. So I have the JD Instant overlays, which are awesome too. I mean, they have some, she has some great ones in there too. And these actually have quite a few um, actions in them. Um, they, I think the, all the overlay sets, not this one, not, um, I don't think this one does. Yep, it does. I guess maybe all of her overlay sets have actions in them, but man, I'm telling you right now, those actions are awesome. Okay, maybe not the combination actions. Nope, those don't. So if you're going to buy a set, make it the JD Illuminations Instant Overlays. I'm going to um, go ahead and link that below. I'll also go ahead and link the Greater Than Gatsby ones that contain the Campbell Soup Cans. It's just such a great little poppy action that is just a good finisher to your images. Um, anyway, I hope you guys learned something or figured out something or I don't know, enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any, any, any questions, uh, please comment below. Don't be shy. I do my best at answering all questions with these videos. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram. I'm trying to get a Facebook group together so that we can communicate that way. Um, until then, I will see you next time. And once again, like I'm not one of those people that's like, like and subscribe. But if you do want to get notifications when I add new videos, if you subscribe, you will get notifications. So anyway, I appreciate you guys so much watching. I really, really do. Like I wish I could send you all presents. Um, but otherwise, because I look like these girls whenever I, I see you guys watch everything and it's helpful. So anyway, have a good day and we will see you later. Bye.